The fine-tuning of the universe for intelligent life points to a designer of the universe. In recent decades, scientists have been stunned by the discovery of uh, how delicate and complex a balance of the initial conditions of the universe are necessary in order for human life or intelligent life at all to exist in this universe. This fine-tuning is of two sorts. First, when the laws of nature are given uh, expression as mathematical equations, you find appearing in them certain constants, like the gravitational constant. These constants are not determined by the laws of nature. The laws of nature are consistent with a wide range of values for these constants. Second, in addition to these constants, there are certain arbitrary quantities, which are just put in as initial conditions on which the laws of nature operate. For example, the amount of entropy or the balance between matter and antimatter in the universe. Now, all of these constants and quantities fall into an extraordinarily narrow, I mean, I cannot convey to you how almost infinitesimal this is, an extraordinarily narrow range of life-permitting values. Were these constants or quantities to be altered by even a hair's breadth, the life-permitting balance would be destroyed and life would not exist. For example, if the atomic weak force or the force of gravity were altered by even as much as one part out of 10 to the 100th power, the universe would not have been life-permitting. Now, there are only three possible explanations of this extraordinary fine-tuning, either physical necessity, chance, or design. Now, it can't be due to physical necessity because, as we've seen, the constants and quantities are independent of the laws of nature. So could the fine-tuning be due to chance? Well, the problem with this alternative is that the odds against the fine-tunings occurring by accident are so incomprehensibly great that they cannot reasonably be faced. The probability that all the constants and quantities would fall by chance alone into the life-permitting range is vanishingly small. We now know that life-prohibiting universes are vastly, incomprehensibly more probable than any life-permitting universe like this one. So if the universe were the product of chance, the odds are overwhelming that the universe would be life-prohibiting. Hence, the fine-tuning is not due to either physical necessity or chance. But logically, that implies, therefore, it is due to design. And thus, the fine-tuning of the universe implies the existence of a designer of the cosmos.